Uh, hello everyone. My name is Tivesh Yadav and I am second year undergraduate student from VIT University. My branch is Information Technology. And today I am going to explain a topic that is cryptography, which is a sub part or application part of ALA that is Applied Linear Algebra. And uh, uh, after uh, recording this video, I am going to uh, send a link or attach a link by on this. So you can just click in on this and uh, can get my video. So let's get started. So basically, uh, this is my registration number 19 BIT 0270 and the course code is MAT3004. And first of all, I would like to pay thanks to our professor, Mr. Ramesh Kumar D that he has given me such a wonderful opportunity to speak over this topic that is cryptography. So uh, I, uh, this is my uh, email ID, uh, gmail.com. If you have any queries related to this topic and if you want me to correct in this video, please uh, uh, feel free to send me a mail. So uh, in this topic, we are going to cover plain text, chipper text, encryption, description, means how we can encrypt any message, how we can decode or decrypt any message. So introduction to cryptography. Cryptography is generally a technique of writing a code which further can be decoded and uh, uh, but it requires some uh, like uh, materials like uh, uh, we have uh, some basic terminologies which we have to understand before uh, starting this topic. So uh, first one is chipper. Chipper is just like a key matrix which is going to code or decode any other matrix or a message. Uh, after that, uh, there is one plain text. This is a piece of information. This is to be encrypted. And uh, after this, there is chipper text. It is a message which is already encoded with the help of chipper. That's why it is known as chipper text. And uh, there are many type of uh, encryptions that is shift, chipper, and uh, substitution, transformation, and many more. So, uh, Coding, encoding, and uh, decoding. These are the application of linear algebra. And now I'm going to explain how it's work. Just a second. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Basically, so we are going to take a three by three matrix, and uh, we called it as chipper. Or either you can uh, take two by two matrix. It doesn't matter. Uh, it's according to your question that in what set you have to break your uh, message. Uh, let's talk it in upcoming video. Uh, so uh, first of all, we have to uh, make a chipper. Uh, it will be of two by two or a three by three matrix. Then we have to encrypt the code or uh, encrypt a message by the following rule. That is one to twenty six. We will take an alphabetical order and we will encrypt it as 1 to 26 like a for 1 b for 2 and so on and for the space bar we will encrypt it as uh, 27 and uh, uh, let's take one example there's a primitive tap, uh, technique which is uh, uh, yeah which is known as substitution chipper in which uh, we just take a plane uh, like a b c d up to z and we already have a chipper like uh, we are not going to set any matrix key and all those things for this. We have already predefined chipper for this. And let's take example like uh, room was not built in a day. So we will replace the plane uh, letter by chipper one by one. That R will be replaced by U and O will be replaced by R and so on. So we will get the output like U, R, P, H for room and so on. But uh, it has one disadvantage like... Uh, it's uh, don't you think that it's a very common technique like if a person having a chipper code can easily decode your uh, message so i think it's not a, a good practice for uh, a real world scenario so that's a disadvantage of uh, uh, substitution chippers so uh, let's talk about another thing that is encrypting a message and uh, whatever the uh, terminologies which I have explained is going to use in encrypting and decrypting. So this is a theory part. Uh, if you want to read it out, you can read it out by yourself because I'm going to explain further this uh, in upcoming video. So, so uh, after this, uh, we have conversion table. 
that is matrix conversion table and in which uh, we are going to encode a by 1 b by 2 and so on and for 27 it's a null value like if we are having space in between any uh, code then we are going to use 27 in place of that and uh, after this uh, part of decrypting uh, comes in which we have to multiply that uh, uh, inverse of that matrix to a given code for decrypting that message and uh, yeah so let's take one example so let's suppose we have a uh, uh, chipper matrix that is one two one three and we have a, a message to encode that is attack now just remember that whatever with the extra symbol that is hashtag or uh, at the rate or that explanatory sign all these we are going to ignore while writing or while encoding uh, this font so in this we are just going to make our pair of two or either it just depend on you that you want to make a pair of three if a matrix is given by three by three so you are free to make a pair of three 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 so uh, let's take attack uh, now as a pair of two 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 letter each that is a t t a c k and now we have uh, n o w that is three words but we have to import it as four to make a pair of two two so uh, in this uh, uh, you can see that uh, we have one nil uh, letter that is uh, before n so we will encrypt it as like 27 that i have stated earlier that uh, we will uh, if we don't have any word we will just uh, state it as at 27 so uh, for that we are uh, coding it as 27 so a for 1 t for 20 and so on up to w after that uh, we have uh, this encoded matrix that is 80 like 1 and 20 ta for 21 and ow for 15 and 23 now all these matrix that we have encoded will be multiplied by the chipper matrix that is 1 2 1 3 basically it's a key matrix when we multiply the code or a message with this matrix it will convert it to some uh, something else so uh, one can not easily find what the exact message box if, uh, if we uh, don't have that key so uh, we will just uh, do all these things for the all the uh, matrices that we have made like uh, 1 and 20 we will just multiply uh, and do the matrix multiplication that is answers 41 and 61 and for all these so the resultant matrices are 41, 61, 22, 23, 61, 84 and so on. So that's the encryption part and now we are going to talk about the decryption part or a decoding part. So now we are going to discuss about the decoding part. So basically uh, the resultant matrix that we have uh, that is encoded 21 by 26, 37 and 53, 45, 54, 20, uh, 74 and 101, 53 and 69. Now we will take that chipper matrix that is 1, 2, 1, 3 and uh, after that we will just uh, in, take the inverse of that matrix. That is uh, the inverse of uh, given matrix will be 3, minus 2, minus 1 and 1. So after that we will multiply the inverse with uh, the uh, value that we have so uh, the resultant value like uh, let's suppose we take 21 and 26 and we will multiply the inverse matrix by that so the answer will be 11 and 5 and uh, and so on we will just multiply all the values by that inverse matrices and the resultant will be 5 by 16 27 by 9 20 and 27 21 and 16 and uh, uh, do you remember that table that i have stated earlier so now we are going to compare each and every uh, number by that alphabetical order let suppose uh, we have 11 so we will just uh, quote it out like what's the word for the 11 that is k so we will write it out k then 5 for e and 5 for e then 16 for p so after that we will uh, decode all these messages and then we can uh, write it as keep it up so uh, that's a example for this and uh, 
after this we will uh, let's talk uh, earlier we have stated about the 2 by 2 matrix now i am going to explain about 3 by 3 matrix as a cheaper code so now we have a, a matrix for uh, 3 by 3 and the process will be uh, process will be same just we have to do one thing that if the matrix is of 3 by 3 now we will break the sentence into 3 3 3 letters uh, let's take example like uh, attack now that's the previous one now we will convert it as a pair of three three elements like att then ack after that we have uh, uh, some space then we will uh, just uh, replace it by 27 and uh, that's a pair of three that uh, space and n and o then w and after w we don't have any uh, thing then we will put the pseudo letter and a pseudo letter will be replaced by space and the space is again coded as 27 so here is the code value 12020 20, and uh, the interesting thing is uh, yeah this one uh, this space is coded by 27 and the uh, whole two spaces by will be coded by 2727 27. so easy huh so uh, after that we will just take that encoded message and uh, will multiply it by the chipper that is our matrix and uh, after that we will just uh, have a resultant matrix as 121 42 and we will just repeat the same procedure for all the numbers that uh, we have uh, to generate a code for the attack now so that's why we will uh, multiply the whole matrix by this so that's the uh, encoding part like this is the uh, resulting matrix will be the encoded uh, message now the turn for the decode so decoding message is again the procedure will be same we have to take the inverse of that B matrices and the inverse of this B will be B inverse like 1, 2, minus 1, minus 1, minus 3, 2, minus 1, 1 and 1. And that matrix will again be multiplied by the sub uh, part. That is the resulting matrix that we have. Uh, so that matrix B inverse will be multiplied by 11, 20, 43. And the result 10 will be 8, 15, 12, and 4, 27, 6, and 9, 18, 5. Now we will compare these values uh, step by step by the coded values that we earlier uh, that we have, uh, uh, just stated earlier. Like 8 will be encoded at H, and 15 will be encoded as O, and 12 will be encoded at L, and so on. So the resulting masses will be code 5. And uh, I hope you have understood this topic and this is the reference material from where I have to help. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, in this video, I have covered all these topics and uh, thank you. If you have any doubt, please let me know by my email ID and uh, thank you.